Now, talk, talk about that, Harry, how that, uh, you know, because, I mean, you know, I know the story because, yeah. you know, I kind of went. Well, my it dad me. and I love my dad. He's a very, you know, he's worked hard in his life, but he gets stressed out a lot. And he was always stressed out when we were little. And it was clear, like, he got stressed out from working seven days a week and, the, and he didn't want to want anything to go wrong. And when it did, it frustrated him. But he carried that on through adulthood for me. And my mom and him had a terrible divorce and she's a lunatic. I love my mom, but she's wild for the night and wild for the day. She's out of her fucking mind. But he would start to get abusive and angry and take all that anger out on me, the son he likes, right? because his day was shitty. So, you know, I mean, there would be times I came to visit him. I mean, one time the record was I left in 30 seconds. I was like, fuck this. I'm done. Well, explain that because they don't, they don't, I mean, I know here's what it, here's what it is. He would get angry and take his anger out on you for something small. Like you're trying to help him update his computer or something and he doesn't understand it. And then he gets verbally abusive and angry and then he would apologize later or whatever. And you know, whatever, but it's not good. So I had to put a stop to it. Right. So what I did was every time he got like angry and disrespectful that way, because he doesn't get angry and disrespectful with my mom. He hates her because she's crazy. So he knows enough to not fuck with her. Like to just. Now he, to, didn't, well, he didn't fuck with her because, because. She's super crazy. Right. So, so he knew that any interaction with her, it was going to blow up in his face. Like right. it was, it would, it, there was no boundaries, no. And the nothing. same with both my brothers because they're also nuts. Right. right? So here's the thing. I, he likes me. I'm there. So now he's going to fuck with me because yeah. I'm in the room and I put up with it because, you know, I'm polite. First of I'm all, nice. you, know, you know, you're the favorite and he right. likes you. That's the first thing. Second of all, you were like a nice guy. Like Harry used to when I met Harry, Harry's all, Harry's favorite thing was, uh, you know, I don't want to be a dick. Huh. I don't want to be a dick. And I was like, um, I was literally like, I, uh, I, um, there's no way that I could be a dick. Even if I tried to be a dick, there's no way that I could be a dick. Right. And you, you couldn't. And the thing was the thing that was that I, 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 so when you're a nice guy, you get taken advantage of even by, even by your own parents. Right. Right. And stuff because you're there and you have patience and you'll tolerate it, but it reaches a point where it becomes, abusive it's disrespectful so why are you taking all your anger out on me shitting on my day and so i you know i would tell dante the stories and dante was like look you have to it's the same it's the same rules right you gotta gotta set these emotional boundaries because to me so so for instance if like the the difference with with harry's mom and harry's dad was that harry's mom was while no matter she was crazy no matter what no matter who it was no matter what it was so you could say okay this person it can't really help you you know if if there's a a consistency in the behavior that and and i had to learn this myself there's a consistency in the behavior that everybody they treat is treat now now i'm not making an excuse for the kind of abuse or that that kind of stuff, but I'm saying at least if there's a consistency in the behavior, then we can we can make a pretty good logical assumption that the person has a problem con- with self control or whatever's going on that makes them abusive, right? But if they're picking and choosing who they're abusive to, there has to be an awareness because they're assessing they're assessing how this is going to turn out. So it's like, I noticed this about Harry's dad was, it was like, he would, you know, he would do everything to avoid his mother. You know, like even if they were at family functions, she would, she would pick at him and he'd be like, look, there's, please tell your mother to leave me alone. Don't yeah. tell her, don't talk to me. He wouldn't even talk to her to tell her not to talk to him. That's, that's how much he didn't want none of that smoke. <laughs> he didn't want none from of that Latino, smoke from his crazy mom. Latino woman. Right. So, but when it came to Harry, he was just random, like frivolous and random. And the same thing was true to me. Like there was a disparity in the treatment with my dad between my sisters and me. And so it's not that you're so like, if you crazy, crazy, 
right? You tell him you you tell him Mike Tyson to suck your dick. You know what I mean? Right. Because you you're not aware of the consequences, of, which is very rarely. I used to say this to Harry all the time that yo, crazy people ain't crazy. You know, they, mm. they make a choice about how crazy they, they're not crazy. They, how you know somebody's crazy is when they're crazy to the point where it's to their physical detriment, no matter what. But they know the difference. They're not telling Mike Tyson to suck their dick, right? They're telling the motherfucker that they think they could get away with it. And so, like, I just noticed, I was trying to explain that to Harry. I was like, you know, he's making a choice because you tolerate it that it's okay to do. My father was the same way. Yeah. Because I was the one who was like, you know, it was okay. Like, it was like, oh, that's my dad. That's my dad. That's my dad. Then he was abusive. And then um, it got to the point where, but then he wouldn't be that way with my sisters. He wasn't abusive right. to them. He was always, you know, he was always catering. So it's kind of like, stuff. oh, you know how to behave. Right, you right. Just, and it's just, what's that, Andre? No, I was saying that they know how to behave, but they just choose when to like. Right. You know, they bully shit and then they decide to be a person again and then when they seem like, all right, I've had enough or they used to come with somebody else that they want to respond but they can't respond to that person. Right. So they hold it and then come back and deliver it to you because they know that you'll accept right, it. Because you'll take it. So, and I was like, hey, you gotta, you have to not accept it and the, the, the sad thing about that is sometimes people are so comfortable with being abusive to you that it gets to the where you don't really matter. Like, it, unfortunately, even if it's family members, you don't always matter. You know, that's where, that's kind of where make ultimate decisions. Don't give ultimatums. One of the, one of the rules we go by is because if you're, somebody's giving you whatever, giving you whatever level of shit it is, it, it, your your problem can't your 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 response can't be um they they're doing what they want to do so because they're doing what they want to do ultimately what's happening is they they've made a decision um and it's a conscious decision even if it's not fully conscious even if they're not going cognitively i'm going to fuck with i uh, like like that his his I dad don't think was my never, dad's intention was ever i'm going to fuck with him or, but it was i feel like shit and he'll take uh, subconsciously he knew that where he yeah. knew that there was a consequence if he did that to his mom he knew that there was going to be a consequence that he was going to have to pay that once he started her up she don't got no off button and he's going to have to take the business. Yeah. And, and so and, I, I had uh, to start implementing basically like penalties and yeah. stuff. So like when he got like that, I'd pack my shit and leave and just go. Uh, I mean, one trip literally was one time. I think the record was 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. I, I was in the house 30 seconds. He was he gave me some attitude and I go, I'm out and then left. And I think and then, he wanted you to do something like he wanted you to do something on the computer or something he like needed that. needed my help with something, right, but his right. attitude was rough. He was very, he was having a crappy day and he like some attitude and, you know, and it's just always some crazy shit that he doesn't understand. Like with all older people that they just don't get, Hey, can you explain the internet to me? Like yeah, yeah, as you're yeah. on your way out the door or something like, right, Oh, right, by right. the way, can you install, you know, this, blah, blah, blah. But um, when when you say it, the the record was thirty seconds. You started out by saying, "Look, yeah, I, uh, like the, my him. my advice was first, just leave." So Harry left, and I think you stayed away from him for how many? How how well, was I started the, doing it? I started treating it like suspend, like drug suspensions, like yeah, when yeah. you get busted or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So it was like thirty days, like the one time I didn't speak to him or go back there for thirty days, and then right. then it was cool, and then he did it again. And then the next time it was two months mm -hmm. that I didn't speak to him or I didn't return any of his texts or calls. And then the next time it was three months. And then finally right. after that, he started to get the idea that, okay, when you act like that, I'm going to disappear. You man school 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man.